Still, petrol cars and diesel cars in Goa will that much reduce by that much any number. The people who, the industries that will be affected are, would be 20 percent. Tourism, the paid park and charge service providers, the power companies, EV charger installation companies, locals who will benefit from the uh, employment and the environment. Go only 200 kilometers, there are normal chargers, fast chargers. Why don't we put them everywhere? Well, Goa this is concerned, that is where the policy decision comes in. Metro sir was speaking precisely about it. The first is land, second is electric permission from GE. See, uh, once uh, we are in anticipation of more than 500 buses given to us by IIT alumni, obviously we will have to have charging uh, stations ready, we will have to have all infrastructure ready and besides the 500 buses, when our emphasis is to shift to EV buses and even EV uh, four-wheelers and uh, two-wheelers, Obviously, we have to have charging stations everywhere. This meeting was uh, called precisely because of that. We definitely have a road map forward where we would be having more uh, uh, charging stations or EV charging stations uh, across the length and breadth of Goa. Now, how it is to be done, how quickly it can be done, how transparently it can be done, we, that is of concern and that's why this meeting has been conveyed. But as you know and you have mentioned to me earlier uh, and I did give a clarification, it is surprising that when good things like IIT alumni coming forward for the first time through their CSR funding, offering to help Goa for, by giving us uh, almost 700 crores for improving the transportation system in Goa, for giving us electrical buses, should we not appreciate and thank them? This is an initiative, a rare initiative taken by none other than uh, Puneet uh, Goel, who is our chief secretary, because he himself is an IITian because of his batchmate and the uh, friendship he enjoys. He is trying to do something for Goa. We should rather applaud him, compliment him. And the moment he spoke this particular thing to Honorable Chief Minister Dr. Brahmo Savant, he pushed it very hard. When he mentioned it to me, I also pushed it very hard. So these initiatives are to be appreciated. In fact, I want to further inform them a social impact fund contribution of 2,500 crores yeah. which is being given for Goa. That is, that is their commitment. Uh, for setting up global IIT alumni hub in Goa. They want to set up this hub only to do something awesome, something which will impact the impact us socially in a very nice manner. Out of that, since I was the transport minister, I did mention only 700 crores, but they are giving us 2,500 crores. So should not uh, the chief secretary and the chief minister be complimented for this? Should not our government be complimented for doing this? And we have immediately moved and we have formed a special purpose vehicle for this purpose and uh, the whole thing is going to be done by them and in a very transparent manner they will only be giving the money thereafter once the money comes in the special purpose vehicle through a tendering process they will procure uh, the buses at the best possible prices there are going to be four directors from uh, uh, the IIT alumni, there are going to be four directors from uh, uh, the Goa government or the KTC whom the government uh, thinks fit. Chief Secretary is going to be the chairing that uh, particular uh, committee, which is very uh, a very transparent thing. Instead of appreciating this government doing this, it has become a rare habit which was never there before with the opposition. Anything good also criticized, try to find some spec somewhere and try to build up on that narrative. This is something very wrong. This is bad for democracy or for the real functioning of the administration. It is demoralizing even the officers doing this uh, job. What will the IIT alumni people, office bearers who are in that particular committee feel when they are reaching out to us like uh, in a very uh, means uh, forthcoming manner to do something for our tiny state of Goa 
which otherwise has very limited resources we should salute them we should appreciate them we should applaud them instead we are criticizing them what is it that the opposition gets by criticizing for sake of criticizing really i am not able to really understand or comprehend that uh, politics runs in that particular fashion in a democracy every uh, while you are there to oppose what you feel perhaps is not right i can understand somebody giving us something for free something where you know transportation system has to be augmented they are giving you the money and you are criticizing it so this is not good for democracy what what's your suggestion to those people who are always coming out with such criticisms only when even when it is free see uh, that i think uh, you press people have to uh, figure that out instead of asking me what is to be done it is you who blow up uh, in all the negative things that they try to bring out in fact uh, even for better and optimization of the functioning uh, of these buses where we are able to uh, sort of use them to the optimal level they are trying to use the imprint of uh, ai that is artificial intelligence also in fact their thinking is very much forward forward thinking ideas uh, out of the box thinking uh, uh, ideas germinating into something which will be really good we have to appreciate that but uh, uh, as uh, pravimal abhishek uh, who is my transport director was telling me he was in the process of formulating he said no 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 don't move uh, means uh, that high in uh, that manner because people will tend to misunderstand and he was rightly advised that uh, it you will be misunderstood if you try to do too good just do in a balanced manner are we uh, falling down to this particular uh, stage just because of the lopsided thinking and uh, i would say colored thinking of some people uh, who call themselves the opposition but will you stop do you huh? think that such things would stop uh, the government to <clears throat> i want to say one thing none of these people are going to deter us in any way on the path to progress on the path to development on being focused to what is to be done for goa and goans nothing can shake us in fact if you look because of the performance of the bjp government in goa it is not so easy to get elected for the third term dr pramod sawant in goa got elected for the third term when when the political pundits had written of the bjp written as of what we, what uh, what happened ultimately we came in for the third time narin modi ji also with pre poll alliance partners won a handsome majority at the center but a victory is sought to be uh, projected as a defeat which is not the case 